Pictures of Harmony Montgomery are plastered on billboards across the state and across the country as questions remain over the seven-year-old's whereabouts. We're starting to get a black eye about what's happening to our children in the state. A frustrated executive counselor, Ted Gatzis, presses DHHS, DCYF, and the New Hampshire Attorney General's office for information regarding Harmony's case, wondering how a little girl could go missing for two years without anyone noticing. We're giving the public as much information as we can, but we can't, we can't disrupt the integrity of the investigations that are going on. Harmony was reunited with her father, Adam Montgomery, in 2019 after spending time in foster care in Massachusetts. Harmony was last seen by Manchester police on September 11th of that year. The missing person investigation launched December 27th, 2021. I'm extremely confident I will stand behind the work of this police department that led us up to 1227, and I stand even firmer behind it um, from 1227 to today. As the search continues for Harmony, police are hoping an increased reward of more than $100,000 will incentivize someone to say something. Until somebody tells me otherwise or shows me something concrete and valuable that, that says that she's not, then this investigation is geared towards as if Harmony is still alive. And also tonight, the governor says he has instructed DCYF to conduct an internal investigation on its handling of this case. While he stands by the agency's work, he says when other states get involved in a case like this, things can get confusing. Reporting live tonight, I'm Tim Callery, WMUR News 9.